Okay, so if you play the Java edition of Minecraft, you might recognize this. A usual T flip-flop. If you play Bedrock, you might also know that it doesn't work in Bedrock. Because Sticky Pistons, when receiving a one-tick pulse, they extend, but then they retract the block. In Java, they extend, and then they leave the block there. And then they retract it the next time. So, instead of that, we're going to want to build a different type of T flip flop. I'm going to show you how to do it right here. Okay, so anyways, for this bedrock T flip flop, you're going to want a 1 by 6 area over here. That is also 3 blocks high. I just put these. I've made it 3 wide, so it just looks the same as that. So you're going to want to start off by placing a block here one high off the ground and then another block diagonally like this and then place the button on this one you can put it anywhere just make sure it's on this block place two redstone torches like that this should go off and then hoppers facing into each other like that with redstone dust on top of them and place any random block into the hoppers comparator out of this one a repeater and a redstone lamp so now once you press the button you can see it is a t flip-flop if i were to link this up to some sort of simple door it would work too as so There we go. This works because the redstone torches power this redstone, which means the hoppers cannot transport, transfer any random block into the other one. Once you press the button, it briefly turns off the redstone, meaning it can go into the other hopper. Sorry about that. And then the comparator will pick that up, send a redstone pulse. Well, not a pulse, it's just redstone. It's gonna keep going until you press the button like that anyways hope you've enjoyed this video hope it's helped if you want more of these short but useful tutorial videos make sure to gently tap the like button and subscribe to the channel to know to get notified whenever a new tutorial comes out bye